three, two, one, and boom. We are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Yeah. Again, here yeah. with... What's up? You're saying what's up? No, no, yeah, just saying what's up. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, we are back with another weekly episode of uh, the Weekly Roundup, where we choose a few things from the week that we thought were pretty dope that we would talk about, usually relating to like video games, um, entertainment, philosophy, stuff like that. So the first thing is, uh, did you see... Well, you're saying that you didn't see uh, Tom Hardy as Venom, but I saw it on like a... I think it was Machinima. They're the ones who launched it on Facebook. They're showing he was like a, in a in like a Brazil kind of thing, and like they were just uh, they didn't show any trailers, but the director oh, okay. of um, the director of Venom was there, and then Tom Hardy showed up. But what do you think about like Tom Hardy playing Venom? The only thing, well, I like Tom Hardy, so I do too. Uh, I'm hoping that'll be good. <laughs> you think he's gonna pull off the whole like Bane thing? You know what I mean? Like, cause he, he, like it makes sense <laughs> that he'd be Venom because he's like he's portrayed characters before where it's like because Venom doesn't really talk too yeah. much right does he he does talk yeah i think he does as, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, eddie what's his normal name like his uh eddie brock eddie brock right yeah, yeah so but who knows they might not even use uh uh tom hardy as the like the mocap for eddie brock right i mean turn not eddie brock venom venom he's definitely <laughs> eddie brock like he's playing eddie brock as a character yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, are, are you stoked for that one? I didn't even know it was coming out until I saw I, it. I did not know either. You didn't know? No. I, All right, cool. So I it was, was just like under wraps. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, there's a Venom movie? The only thing I do know that I did look up was that it's not part of the Marvel Universe. Oh, no. So he's not in the... Uh... It's a separate thing. Oh, I, I don't like I'm that. Correct, yeah. how, how do you feel about that? Like, I don't like how... I, if it's in the Marvel... If, it's, if you're doing a Marvel movie, it's got to be in the Marvel Universe. If it's not in the Marvel Universe, then it's like... I, I don't think it's canon. Like, I, I don't really pay attention to it. You know, because you can just delete that at any time. But it's not like you can delete Avengers now. You know, it's like... Right, right, You've, right, you've right. built up this whole franchise, you know? And then yeah. if all of a sudden you said, like, oh, uh, the the Avengers stuff didn't really matter. It's mm-hmm. like, the, then you can't really do that because we're all expecting a big, like, thing out of it. You right, know? right, But right. you could easily delete, like, the past Spider-Man movies, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah you can. <laughs> I don't know. I I think it'll be okay. I think it just it all depends on the story. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Logan was standalone, in a sense. Actually, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, that's I mean, true. But because X Men wasn't bought up by Mar uh, Disney yet. Yeah, it's still a Fox Sony. What was it? Uh, S- Fox Fox. Yeah. It's Fox. Yeah. yeah okay. Spider Man was Sony. Right, and then they gave. Uh, they allowed um, X, uh, Marvel to use Spider-Man in the new series. Well, mm-hmm. Do you know what the deal was? I have... N- I don't know the deal. But they must have made... Like, to make it... It was a success, so it was good for yeah. Sony as well, right? It's That's probably true. how they convinced them. Is it like a percentage deal that they usually probably. do? Probably. Yeah, okay. Cool. Probably. So I don't think they sold it to them. That's Because uh, they know they get it back or something like that after. A few oh, okay. That's cool. That's movies cool. or something, yeah. Yeah, but uh, uh, did you know that the um, you know the guy um, uh, who plays Black Panther? Yeah, uh, he does. He doesn't actually have a South African or like that African accent. Mm-hmm. A lot of actors. Don't. I didn't know that, but he's playing it. So like, I saw. All right, so I saw his Netflix movie um, on like it was on Netflix, yeah. and then I was like, oh, okay, let me. Watch. It's not a very good movie. He's like he plays this guy who goes to America to avenge his sister. Oh yeah. yeah. I, saw that. Yeah, I, I didn't fully finish it. I was like, but then when I saw like, all right, that's two two things now where he used the accent. So I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe that's why he's, they chose him. I assume that you know that's just your native tongue, but he's not like an American. <laughs> no, he's you not. know what I mean. Like it tripped me out uh, when I saw the interview. I was like, oh, what the? This guy's actually got an American accent. <laughs> it's trippy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the second thing I got on my docket is um, there was that and. Oh, what was my other one? Oh, oh uh, pre-sales. Yeah, that's why I talked about Black Panther. Okay, oh, yeah. so pre-sales for Black Panther. Um, so do you think that uh, pre-sales are a good thing? Yeah. Pre-sales? I think it's, it's their um, Marvel's biggest pre-sale number, right? For, oh, really? Or like for a Marvel movie, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think Something I heard like that, too, that. somewhere as well. Yeah, yeah, But, like, so I was watching this interview where this guy was saying that he doesn't like pre-sales because it, like, it kind of ropes you in. You know, it's like you, you don't have the opportunity to look at the review prior to 
um, paying for the ticket. Yeah, but it's the same thing like this first time people that go and watch it when on the day it's released. It's, yeah, if you're gonna watch, you're gonna it's watch it's it anyway. People that's yeah, exactly. buying these early early tickets. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, yeah, and you want your seat. You know what I mean? Like if it's an IMAX, like I want my seat exactly to be exactly. there. Like, you know, uh, so I'm I'm not mad at that one. That's pretty dope. I, and I think it's good for marketers too because it like allows them to like receive some of like they they're assured some amount yeah. of money yeah beforehand you know so in yeah but they see these are movies that are already done like I, I I I they talk about the same kind of thing for like video games okay yeah when you do pre sales for those or pre orders right yeah 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 and like early really early pre orders so that that has a chance of being successful or unsuccessful like there's more of an effect on those yeah okay so if, if a company bases everything on pre-sales or pre-orders then uh if it doesn't get that much of a pre-order then they think oh the movie's not or the game's not going to do that well right so we right. may not go forward with it right right right, or right cancel right. the game but maybe a really good game Right, right, but but like you're saying before that like but that's um, the difference between that and movies. Yeah, different says. industry. So it's like it's, it's cool because industry. the movies already been made, but uh, video games are often in production until like the last day, like last week beforehand. What was the Last of Us one where it's like we just finished it the week of, or is God of War? What the uh, we were watching the behind the scenes you were showing me, and then it's like we didn't we didn't finish the game until a week before the launch date. Well, there's normally like that for games, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Whereas like movies are already done, so like if the movie's good or bad, regardless, you have to market it intensely yeah. because you got to make your money back. Yeah. yeah but like yeah. if the game, it's like okay, well, we can already tell there's no hype for this game. Let's just like delete the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And marketing then, 101. But then it could be a good game if you're only relying on pre-order sales, right? And that's, that's a lot of businesses are going in that direction too. That's true too. Yeah, so. that's true too. Yeah, so, um, oh, actually, a uh, side note, side thing, I didn't really write this down to talk about, but I'm thinking about it now. Um, do you think digital's, I know digital's the future, but do you think it's better than physical disc? Uh, yes. Yes, I okay. think so. The reason... You lower cost, for it's, one. It's a lower cost, but it hasn't yet affected, in a sense... Oh, it's still regular the same price. Yeah, 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 because they're okay. still out. Both of them are out there, so you can't. Oh, you can't cannibalize your own product. Yeah, yeah I get something what you're like yeah, that. Yeah. That they can't. That, so they're not doing it. Because then people are like, why would I buy it in store? But I, I think it, I think it depends. I think it depends. Okay. So uh, there's certain games. See so what what you can do with physical copies. You can sell them back. Yeah, that's trade true. Ins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, unless they start inputting that into the servers of you know PS. But it's like how, how would you? They can do that. It's okay. up to them. <laughs> and then yes, sell it maybe. as pre-sales. Because right now, anything that you sell to EB or, or Best Buy, I think, if you buy a trade-in, none of that money goes back to the, the person that made the game, right? It goes straight to EB. EB. Okay, yeah. Right, they can buy it from you for th whatever thirty bucks if it's a really new game. But but see, it's and like sell it for like fifty or sixty, and they're making full profit. Exactly, exactly. These are old models, though. Like if you look at these business models, it's before the time of technology. So like, yeah. you're you're just adapting. It's sort of like a yeah. it's in a changing period, and people, I it might end up happening where uh, um, the digital sales also offer um, yeah buyback and stuff like could, that. Could you imagine if there's always if like from now on it's all digital? Like there's no more like the whole CD industry is done. I that'll be nuts. I think that's more already happening on PC side. Okay, what do you mean? No one buys like CDs anymore for PCs. Everything's bought through Steam. That's all digital. Steam. Oh, okay. okay. Most sales that. are done through that. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Like even my PC, there's no disc drive. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, because I, I noticed there's no disk drive on mine. Sometimes it's a little annoying because if you want to, like, um, you want to take something from, like, an old DVD, yeah. um, you can't. Or, like, if somebody gives you, like, an old DVD, you can't mm -hmm. watch it, you know? No. And then you have to buy the external. You can if you buy the external, but the external is, like, usually, like, 100 plus, and it's like, ah, yeah, I don't want to do that. It's friggin I, I like it though. I, I prefer not to digital. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of like a, it's sort of like a cable management. Yeah, that's how I think of it. You know, like uh, you could have a digital library with like a bunch of different things, and it's like clean. But then, like as soon as you add physical stuff to it, but what's gonna like it becomes cluttered. But mm -hmm. what's gonna suck is if uh, the servers go down and you're screwed. You know. Yeah, that's the only thing. But it's like. But it's not. Eh. I mean, you can always. 
I trust the people in charge of like figuring out the. You server still own problem. it phys- Like you don't really. It, it, server only works if you're playing online and you're off, off of it. Or if you download the game. No, but like Netflix, let's say. Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, the internet's down your screwed. But they're doing the whole save for all, save offline view, right? Because people don't have. Oh, data. that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that they're yeah, starting I to use that a lot. Wow, that'd be really interesting to see in the future. Like, uh, let's say twenty. It's funny to think twenty eighteen. We're totally in the future, but but twenty forty. Let's say mm-hmm. that's a long time. Actually, no, that's too long from now. Well, twenty forty. A lot of things will change in the next five to ten years. Man. Their technology changes so quick. So. True, true, true. But like, let's say twenty forty, and then there's no physical CDs anymore. That's gonna be nuts. Like to see, it's all just like, it's all just like digitally downloaded from yeah. a server. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, all right. Speaking of servers, let's just dispel this myth from Fight Club. Um, at the end of Fight Club, he blows up the credit card companies, mm-hmm. right, in order to reset all the debt in the world. Yeah. Okay. The funny part is, and then you can fill them in, is what? Well, they don't keep the servers at their home base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somewhere so it's, else. And, and they also have a thing called redundant servers. So even if you destroy that one, you still have to yeah, figure out where the other one is. Yeah. And they might have backups on backups. Yeah. And then they might even have cloud backups now, where it's like you'd have to take out the entire internet to reset yeah. the debt. Yeah. So continuity error, or maybe not continuity error, that guy just didn't know how the internet worked. Yeah, the character. <laughs> yeah. But I mean. But did they do that, though, in the movie? Yeah, that was the final scene. He blows up all the credit card companies. Oh, uh, okay. Like uh, the, the buildings. But it's like, yeah, they don't really keep them there. Maybe you should travel to, like, maybe India. <laughs> they might they might keep it in India, you know, because no, it can, be, it can a, be remote. It can be, I guess. You know? No yeah. cloud servers. I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's like you can have your cloud server in a different country. Mm-hmm. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know how it was back then, because you needed more now, right? Since well, it was an old book too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it's just interesting to think about now. It's like you're not honestly like this is how I see it. You're this is the digital age, yeah. and you gotta you gotta like keep up. Mm-hmm. Or be left behind. Actually, what was that thing that they were saying? I don't know if we talked about this in the last podcast, but um, the, there's a there's no no we didn't talk about this. But you showed it to me during the week. Um, there there's an the the gap between rich and poor isn't about money. It's about technology. Oh yeah, like literacy of technology. Yeah, that it, not the gap. It's not. Uh, it was um, the reason. Like the the job loss is being put on um, the immigrants. Versus okay. the actual reason for job loss is because of technology. Yeah, yeah, because they so just that's, don't that's know that yeah. how it works. And what's going to be really nuts is like as the West keeps on progressing, and then the like the third world countries aren't able to keep up, then like they're yeah. done. Like you're, mm-hmm. you know, they're going to come to like. But you know what's crazy to think about? Like if uh, if we were back, like so if all the legends are true about like ancient civilizations and stuff, and they talk about these godlike creatures, right? All yeah. these, all these, like in the texts, they're like, "Oh, there's gods that walked among us, right?" If you look at it now, if you took somebody from the Amazon and then you brought them here, they'd be like, "All right, you're a god." Yeah. Like, how are you able to look at this glass and like <laughs> talk to somebody face to face? You know, who is this crazy robot? Like, you know what I mean? And like, I don't like. Although as a kid, like there were some people who resisted technology because I remember like we we grew up during the technological implementation phase, yeah. right? Like, the internet came out literally during our time. We were, like, 1993 was the internet b- big boom. I yeah. was, like, yeah. five. Well, yeah, we grew up through the whole modem connection to, yeah, to yeah, exactly. high level, high speed. So. And I remember not having internet before, too. Like, Oh, yeah. Right? And, like, but so, so, like, it's interesting because, like, there were a lot of people that, like, um, that like resisted technology mm-hmm. even still today they're like I don't want a Facebook I don't want a blah 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 I don't want this but then the funny part is like even though people say like I don't want a Facebook logins are actually using Facebook now yeah like, yeah, like yeah. In, you know it's like if you want to log into this you can log in with your email which is very archaic or you can log in with your Facebook password mm-hmm. you know and then if you do that it's like you're just being forced to go into society you know like technological you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If you're once you're in it, you got to be really in it to, and to, to. If everyone else is in it too, right? Ex- exactly. Yeah. You just you got to play ball. And if you you're not gonna play ball, then you're gonna like sit there and like whine about it. You're screwed too because mm-hmm. it's like they don't care if you're whining about it. They're just like, <laughs> okay, you just won't get a job. 
What I find really interesting now is like, although resumes are very important, social media also counts as a resume because they're gonna social media you. I yeah. remember that in, uh, in like yeah. university, they're saying, but it's becoming more big now. They're gonna like check you on social media to see what kind of person you are. Yeah. So you have to actually like manage that well, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah, don't put anything weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. out of the norm, I guess. Yeah. All right, your things, go. All right, so the couple of things I had, well, we'll talk about CES first. Because CES happened all throughout this week. Nice. Um, Consumer electronic show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, where you get concepts that may come out this year, that may come out in a few years, or they may never come out. Okay, cool. Uh, so, the, the, like, the three big things... That I that were like the main things for this tw this year was uh, cars, uh -huh. TVs, and robots. Ooh, that's cool. So that's cool. The, not yet robots like iRobot. Okay. But it's uh, anyway. So I'll just talk. There's two things that I there's two kind of TVs that were like the main. Is it like H robot? Focus. What? No, no. Just I'll, I'll, I'll get to. It, I'll get to. It. Get it? Cause H comes before I, so we're not I yet. Okay, that's a bad joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, there's two things that I have under TV, which is like Samsung's The Wall. It's called. It's like 146 inch, Ooh, and using okay. like a tech called like micro LED. So yeah, yeah. it can't go through people's doors, right? So they, they're able to break apart and put it back together, kind of thing. What? That, wait, wait, wait. Re-explain this to me. You just tripped me out. All right, do it again. Because it's a 146 inch TV. Okay. What yeah. I heard was because you can't bring it through the house. As exactly as it is, so you have to have it in pieces. This is like a Lego, like TV. a puzzle. Yeah, and what? You, and you can do that with the, I guess the micro LED. That's the tech that's in that TV. Okay. Wow, that's nuts. And then the other TV, which is a concept as well. 140 inch. What are you gonna do with 140 inch, dog? No, no, it's like a movie theater. Yeah. Just have it at your house. Don't go to the theaters. There, there's also that thing in the U.S. now. If you pay, it's pretty expensive, but you get box office movies straight to your house. Yeah. Uh, oh. What? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that too much about that one. Brendan Shaw was talking about it. It's like five grand or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So the other one was related to TV is LG's roll up OLED up to 65 inch. 65 inch? Yeah. Dang. So, so the roll up means it can be hidden away. Rolled up in a. <laughs> <laughs> just, all right, yeah. Side <laughs> Was your jaw drop yeah. and then he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. I'm drinking tea right now, and as he said it, like I just spilled the tea all over myself because it's like, what? Okay, continue. So, so it's rolled up like you know, like a paper towel kind no of thing. No way! Wow. And then, and then it's OLED, so that's why it's flexible. And then it comes out of the thing, and it can go to different sizes. So you know how sometimes we watch a movie which is really widescreen, okay. and you got top what black bars on top and bottom. What? So that's it'll crazy. go up to the size of just the size of that that movie size of the movie uh -huh. so you, you don't get the top or bottom bars like the black bars right wow so it'll roll up to up to 65 inch size Dang. so if you just like the way they were showing on the concept was like it'll roll up like an ipad size uh -huh. to just to, if you want to just see the weather okay it'll just roll up a little bit and then it was, you'll see it in the video okay um, nice and then uh yeah we're gonna overlay the video yeah, on yeah. top of this yeah and then it'll just go to whatever size you need based on the aspect ratio wow. of the show or whatever it is, yeah. Do and then it'll go away. So you're basically real estate used, right? So if you're not you're watching the TV, there's no reason for it to just hang around. Do you remember like that. that Nokia watch that they're, they're like wearable tech that they were showing? It's, it was like a yeah, concept. Yeah, that, that was... Uh, it sounds it, a lot it like this. Like it was like, like a rent. Like it was you remember not yet a concept. Right? It was just... Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to find that video for... Because concept means like they have some something usable, yeah that was like right? that was like a video yeah like a rendered future idea or something like yeah, that. yeah yeah yeah. i mean that is coming though flexible phones are coming okay that's gonna happen it, that, it was like what this the, new tech in, yeah in the video like if i can't find it for the overlay i'll just describe it right now uh imagine like like a bracelet you know those like slap bracelets where yeah, you like yeah. slap it and then it forms right your right, wrist? right 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 that's just kind of what they were doing for like the phone it would it become a like a phone on it. Yeah, yeah that was nuts man yeah, i think oled can do that yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. that's what that's about Cool. So that's that was it. that was TVs. Then in cars, they had like a lot of autonomous stuff, electrical cars. Oh wow! Yeah, there was, there was, so it was a big deal for cars this year. Since okay. Like, wow, like, autonomous like, cars. Yeah, autonomous. Again, these are concepts that may come out in a couple of years or so. Right, right. right? right. There was one thing that was uh, talked about, like in uh, it was in Black Mirror. Okay. In that crocodile, I think it was, the episode was called Crocodile, and it was the 
the pizza the yeah, vehicle. Yeah, 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 the automatic pizza yeah. delivery. Yeah, that was one of the concepts that Toyota's doing. No way. Yeah. So they're, oh, so they're working with like Amazon, Uber, Bro, pizza jobs, Hut. jobs are done. Yeah. Like, like, this is what I mean. This is what we were saying about technology taking jobs away. Yeah, like there's no <laughs> way. Like, dang, what's what's the college kids like after school job going to be, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's McDonald's like, is the only left. <laughs> It, but, if even, anything, but even if McDonald's, robots have taken it, yeah. but even McDonald's, they have the self serve things. Oh now, yeah, 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 yeah. Right where you can like oh, order yeah. at the kiosk. That's right. Not that's the right. Kiosk. Yeah, yeah. One, yeah, one yeah, of yeah. the crazy ones I noticed that when you go to the movie theaters, because I go there a lot, there's like, um, uh, there's no more uh, attendants selling tickets. No. It's all like self serve. Yeah. And you only have one person. So you eliminated four jobs by producing one job where that one person walks around and he's like, "Do you understand what's going on?" You know? Yeah. Like they're like, "Are you good?" Like blah blah, blah. <laughs> and that's it. You don't you don't actually need um... even even at um, at the airport too. The one I didn't like when you got to oh, print out America. your own yeah, 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 baggage yeah. stickers and all that and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They, they just bring those it to well. their conveyor belt and they do Dude, it. Dude, it's crazy, man. Yeah, that's what I mean. Robots or technology is taking over. Wow, jobs. I didn't even so know that's, that's, that's the reason really. for jobs. That's pretty nuts. Yeah. Imagine like uh, we're gonna have like Ubers in the future. Taxis are done. It's yeah. like auto drivers. So you just have you order an Uber. No, no. And so that was that was the next thing that uh, GM showed off their concept. Doesn't uh-huh. even have a steering wheel. What? No so, steering wheel? Yeah, it's a it's it's again this is the autonomous stuff where it'll work, you know, as a lift. So you don't even need a lift driver. No, no one's, uh, no one, no person's gonna be there. It'll just drive itself. Oh, okay. And it'll be all like controlled by your phone so or something. So you can like avoid that. the awkward conversation of So do you like being an Uber driver? <laughs> so yeah, that's, exactly. that's every exactly. that's every Uber yeah. conversation I ever have. <laughs> so you start your job? You start so, yeah. your shift? I have yet to take a Uber. Actually no, I did take Uber in India, so I never mind. <laughs> wow, Uber's in India too? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's all over the world. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So but then they're gonna remove that job from people. Dude, yeah, what what jobs are gonna be exactly. left? Concepts like people, may, like, that's what they're saying. You, the job is coding, man. The world of coding, or design. One one thing though, or design. Yeah, like I feel like art art careers. AI. You know, I mean, it, the yeah, only art. thing that uh, um, a computer can't do as well as a human is like create art. Oops. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like to come up with these concepts or well, like unless, to design something. Once they get AI, yeah. No, no, but even that even AI, it. it's like. It's like you need the human element to make the game look cool. Like who's the one? Like we're we're playing this game. We're no, no. What, a, what I mean by AI is it'll learn, continuously learn, and how to be creative. Oh, that's nuts. Yeah. Game over for us. Yeah. Like basically, it'll be, it'll have a brain where you can think. You know what it is? It's it's people who are afraid of their own mortality. That's why they're unable to accept the change of what's what's going on. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, this is abomination, blah yeah. blah. blah. And it's like, is it really an abomination, or is it just like the next stage in evolution? Did the did the dinosaur get pissed? Did the muskrat <laughs> get pissed? You know, did yeah. the, you know, what I mean, like nobody else got pissed. They were just like going through the motions. Like we are nature, so it's like yeah. technology is just a part of nature too. Yeah, yeah. So the other thing was robots. That was so. Sony, do you remember the robot dog? I think it was a long time ago when they showed it. Robot dog. Uh, anyways, Ibo is the dog that Sony showed off. Okay. That is, it. It was shown or was released a long time ago, but it didn't have like all this like, uh, touching sensors and all that stuff is on this dog, okay. and I think okay. some other stuff too. Okay. Where if it'll learn to like, oh, if you don't want the dog around you, it won't be around you. Oh, so it's a robot though. Is it a real dog? Like, I mean, like, no, no, not real. Obviously, it's a real robot dog. But is it like based off of uh, tax t- uh, tactiles? Like it's like physically a real Touching. dog. Yeah, like like you, it t- feels yeah, like yeah, it looks yeah. and feels like a real. Well, dog. it's it's still metal format, right? Oh man. Yeah. No, no, this is concept. Who yeah, knows? True, true, they true. might make it with fur and stuff. I don't know. And like silicone. You never have to go. Like skin. You don't have to go from, take it for a walk. You don't have to, you know, pick up its. Wow, I'd buy that. Pick up its, yeah, whatever it releases. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, that's cool. It's a cool idea. Uh, it's it's not a, it's not a new idea. It's just a new idea with new tech. Mm. It, uh, it's just new tech to an old idea that they they had this before I remember. Right, right, right. And then and Honda showed off their robots. It, it's not like robots like human form yet. Okay. Just simple tasks like so the uh, the Honda one was like three of them. One of them is like a rugged vehicle. It'll do stuff uh-huh. outside. Like 
it's an ATV type, uh -huh. looks like. Uh -huh. And then uh, it'll, I don't know, whatever it has. You can add different attachments on top of that. Wow. So you okay. want to do use it like a backhoe where it digs the ground or yeah. or other things, like a shoveler for snow shoveling if you've got a big yard or something. Uh -huh. Big, yeah, driveway. And then they had one that's a serving one, so it'll bring you drinks or whatever it has. It. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then th these are still concepts. It's still like they're still putting faces on them, except for the ATV. Like I just, that's just kind of weird for me. Like yeah. having like a ATV digital like all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, the one that that doesn't have a face, but like the other, this one, the serving robot has like a digital face. Okay, you'll yeah. see it. You'll see it. And then then there's the one a huggable robot. Oh, all right. Okay, that's so cool. that's cool. We just got like also like a digital face. Uh -huh. Not like a human face. You'll see. It's kind of cutesy. And then it's it's more like to provide emotional support for people. Wow. So it's that's kinda... crazy. Are they coming out in Japan first? Uh, just still concepts. No idea when these are coming out. Okay. But still, these are just ideas that may happen in the near future. It, it's interesting like how uh, a lot of this technology is established first in like Asian countries and then they come over to the Western countries. So yeah, that yeah, so the Ibo, the dog, Sony's dog, is really released in Japan. Yeah, there and you go. And it has no release date for North America. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Like I remember uh when I went to when I was in on that internship we had three G in Canada and then uh the guy was like, We have four G in, in uh, Hong Kong and I was like how is that possible? You know, like, no mm -hmm. way. And then, like, 4G came to North America. It was like, oh, they're just ahead of the curve. I didn't know this. Like, they, they have things implemented there already, Yeah. you know, that we don't have yet. I think it's, yeah. Even in India, like, uh, It's due free... to population, too, right? It's easier to expand there when you're making yeah, a lot volume. More yeah, volume. Yeah, 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 for money. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sell... also cheaper there, too. Yeah, because you sell through volume. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. 30 million Canadians. Not, not that much. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, and then, so that was it. For, I guess for CES, is to robots, cars, and that's pretty cool. TVs. That's that's the main things. It that might I, mean to the future cool. there. Yeah. And then, so the other topic I wanted to get into was this. This whole story has gone into. Uh, to the level of you know like conspiracy viewpoints of it now like okay the, yeah so i think it was saturday or sunday they launched uh the zuma mission uh, okay. spacex launched, zuma, yeah, yeah, right yeah. yeah so and then there's uh it's a classified mission okay from the government right mm -hmm. uh so only spacex what they do is they offer they use spacex rocket Okay. And the, this, that's the stage one of it. Uh -huh. And stage two is the payload. Okay, yeah. And the payload is uh, whoever the client is. Right. Which is this time was the government. And it's uh, some Zuma satellite classified. We don't know what it does. Okay. Anything yeah. like that. So the launch and everything went fine. Uh -huh. they, so in the video, um, in their launch video, they only show the stage one. They were not allowed due to, you know, the classified nature of it. And the government said not to show the stage two section of it. Okay. Yeah. So, in the, so you'll get to see the stage one launch, and then they only focus on it as it landed as well. Uh-huh. Right? So in that way, SpaceX is a success. It was a successful SpaceX's mission. SpaceX's side is SpaceX a success. SpaceX is yeah. a successful mission, right? But... So then, then the rumor started that the, it was a failed satellite that fell back onto Earth and crashed into, like, the Indian Ocean or something. Okay. Okay? So that started, like, a couple of days after that launch that okay. it was a failed mission and then wait who who did that there's news organizations that found out and then they were like they were saying it was a fake news or real news uh, well whatever man i'm I assuming know, it is yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, real news yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah <laughs> uh so anyway so that that it was a failed one where the satellite crashed or something okay right yeah. and then there are contradictions to the story because in the the satellite registry uh -huh. there's a website where they have um, where they have a list of whatever satellites out yeah okay in, in on, uh, orbiting around earth uh -huh. so and the only way it registers it once uh, it has um, uh, reached its desired orbit okay and has made and at least once gone around the Earth, the okay. satellite. Okay. That's when it will end up showing up on the registry. Okay, yeah. So, th okay, I understand, yeah. Right? 
So then it said after at least one, then that's when it crashed. That's what they're saying. Oh, okay. Right, but because uh, that's a contradiction here. Because did it crash as soon as that happened after the launch? Uh huh. Or did it ha happen two days later? Right. So th th where the contradiction comes is where the DOD, the Department of Justice, uh -huh. uh, briefing, the reporter was asking what happened, and they kept saying, the DOD kept saying, go ask SpaceX. Oh, that's and, weird. And it's not, and then the reporter's like, but it's not SpaceX's satellite. It's your right. satellite. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they kept saying, the reporter could ask for like, you know, what accountability was, is it a success or a failure? Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. they said, again, g uh, go refer to SpaceX. But you know why? Because SpaceX probably has like a um, has like a confidentiality agreement, so it's like they they're putting them in a loop, right? It's like go ask SpaceX. They go to ask SpaceX. SpaceX is like we can't talk about it. And they have to go back to the Department of Defense. You know what I mean? It's like no, 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 no sorry. Right. But but what satellites? Oh, sorry. What Pentagon is saying, or the it's out of their normal standard of things. Oh, that's, that's also kind of weird. Okay, because. Under the thing, under their normal standard, Pentagon would be to uh, like disclose some level of information, whether the investigation is underway, because uh -huh. uh, and also it's a billion dollars the satellite. Wow! You, so they have to show some accountability and uh, you know to obligation for the taxpayer for the f the loss of this funds. Right. It's like where did your money? Where go? did the money go? Yeah. yeah okay. So they that's what the, that's why. Pentagon has would be saying either the investigation is underway or to some level, uh -huh. right? And and we can't talk about it more than that. Okay. But they're just saying refer to SpaceX, which is not a normal uh, answer because it's not SpaceX's satellite. Right. Under SpaceX, which uh, once is saying that this uh, f uh, was a failure mission, SpaceX is um, the head of SpaceX or COO. I forgot what her name was. They said that Falcon 9 did everything correctly and information published that is contrary to this statement is categorically false and and then they said it's classified so no other no further comment. So they said that it was successful. They said it was successful. So then so one person's like it's not successful which is the news and then the government's like it was successful. No 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 government also is not saying anything. Oh they're not, not saying, saying anything at all. But who's that person that just said? That bad person was SpaceX. Oh. They had a SpaceX. Okay, so we got the news going. Um, it was unsuccessful. Yeah. We get the government going, I can't talk about it. And it's not on the space registry, I think, anymore. And then we got SpaceX going, it was successful. Yeah. So we're just, we're pulling a ring around. We don't so, know So on. that's what I'm saying. The con so there either uh, the, the, the conspiracy here is or there, it's a really secret mission they don't want anyone to know what actually, it is actually that is a conspiracy though uh, that would qual classify oh this okay like, yeah so that, a conspiracy that, is any like secrecy performance any secrecy yeah, yeah exactly yeah. exactly exactly. but like it's just the way Pentagon is acting is also out of the normal yeah, yeah right yeah. so the, this whole story is all over the place ooh and what if it's like a, <laughs> what if it's like because it was for the DOD right Department yeah, yeah, yeah. of Defense yeah so what if they're doing something this is all speculation uh, because of what Kim Jong Il in North Korea has been doing. So they put up their weapon in space, like maybe a spy satellite or like some sort of like like bomb dropper mm -hmm. or something, you know, in order to like watch what is going on for him. Yeah. Well, I don't want to say anything else because you then we're just adding more to the conspiracy, right? Because we That's don't true. know. We could be making. Who could be making it worse than it is? That's true. People are like, listen to this, <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> this is totally what's going on. Yeah. So it's just that the story is that fascinating. It's so interesting. I don't. Nobody knows what's going on. Like you know what I mean? It's all over the. That's pretty nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So was that your last one? I think that, that was that was it. I, I, that was like the most interesting news I heard this week was the Zuma mission. This whole week was did it fail? What happened to it? Like, yeah. no answer from Pentagon. Wow. But then that's so, it, they said it was successful under SpaceX. So, so it's like, what's going on? Because SpaceX, it, the, the, see, the first part, first stage is all SpaceX, the oh, whole yeah. rocket. Yeah, the yeah. second stage is all uh, Department of Justice, this Pentagon stuff. Right, right, right. right? It's, not, it's not anything to do with SpaceX anymore. After the dismantling, where the yeah. stage one, separate from stage two, 
stage two is all all DOD. Right, 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 right. Right, right? they even had the satellite show up in the registry. It, it should have at least been around orbiting around the Earth at least right, once. Right, right, right. So that's why. Which it, is twenty four hours? How 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 long does it take to orbit around the Earth? It doesn't necessarily mean twenty four hours. Oh. Just at least one round at least around Earth. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, because it could be going at different speeds. Yeah, it goes at different speeds. Okay. So um, it's kind of funny because, like, uh, now I want to segue into this one where it's like, do you want the truth or do you not want the truth? You know, it's like like that secrecy. It can be classified, but I'm just saying it's just out of the norm that it's causing more. A hundred percent. But, like, what I'm I'm more alluding to is because, like, so what I've been doing is, like, I'm segueing into the Bible now. So, like, uh, Mm. I... Like, this is a great parallel because it's like, do, do people actually, can you know that scene in like, uh, can you handle the truth? You know, like, I want the truth, you can't handle the truth. Yeah. From that like famous Tom Cruise movie. Um, I don't even know what that movie was, but. but I think so, transparency is good. Tra- right. Some people want transparency. And it's almost like the transparency is there. You just have to be the one to like, do you, if you really want to know, then you got to go do it for yourself. Because I'm, I'm beginning to realize that like, it's not. It's not the church we believe in. It's the church of Hollywood, because a lot of a lot of the things that people believe about, you yeah. know, what's what's contained within the Bible is not even accurate of what's actually in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Like I'm I'm only at like Leviticus now, which is like the third uh, third chapter, you could say, the third book or whatever. Yeah. And like um, a lot of like like the whole Moses thing that I was telling you before, like he actually has a brother, and like it's not really Moses, Moses and Aaron. So it's like, right. but no one talks about Aaron. Nobody talks about Aaron. So yeah. it's like. It's like, do we really want the truth, truth, or do we want like, um, do we want like a polished version of the truth? So that, like, it's like, it's like, what level of understanding do you want in this life? Mm-hmm. You know. So for the people, for the general public, I understand why the government's like, it's classified. We can't tell you because it's like some people can't handle the truth. No, I don't. But I'm, all I'm saying is the classified nature is fine. For sure. It's just the. Um, you're creating a bigger you're creating problem. Creating more, more of a thing where people are going to more look into it. I think. Right, right, right. To what? Because it's what not exactly it's, the stories going on. are not matching up here. <laughs> right, 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 right. So but see, that, that's it's why. Just interesting. That's why I, society ultimately is just like a game of beliefs, right? Because it's like, how how do you want to run this system? It's like you're obviously lying to us, right? Yeah. So it's like, but is the like for our benefit? No, I mean, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, but, I, <laughs> but if you get caught in a lie, it's like, why do you want them to be your leader then? You know, it's like, aren't yeah, you a liar why, for a leader? That's why transparency is that we keep them in check. But I think if we had complete transparency, then people would just, like, blow their brains out. They'd be like, I can't deal with this. No, it makes them accountable that they don't do anything crazy. But it, it's like, we'd have to re, uh, what was that? We were talking about this for the, uh, the American founding father, he said... Uh, every every two hundred years, revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. who's? Do you know? Remember which family father that was? I uh, can't remember. Maybe Benjamin Franklin. I'm not sure. Okay, so here's the mind blow. Uh, America was built off of rebels, so they were actually British people who dissented, defected, sorry, and they decided to um, start up their own country called America in North America, right? Um, but it's like. It's like they were built on rebels because they didn't believe in the structure that was already there. Yeah. And now, if they were here today, we'd consider them terrorists. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like, why are you going against the government? But, like, America was founded on going against the government because yeah. they wanted, like, good truth yeah. and stuff. They were all about... But, again, it's always context, right? Like, people didn't know about Aaron, Moses' brother. It's like, no, because nobody really wants to do the homework of figuring out the context. Yeah. And even even the homework that we do is, like, very minimal in comparison to the homework that, like, it would be required to understand what's actually going on in life, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we, we do more than the average person, you know? So yeah. to the average person, you're like, oh, you guys, like, like look into this a lot. It's like, not really. It's just you're not looking into it at all. Well, this is what interests us, in a sense. Yeah, that's true, but it's like... But it's like the, the, the highest form of power is the one governing you mm-hmm. and it's like if you don't if yeah. you so all right so what is it if you don't look into uh the truth behind the thing that's governing you slavery right 
right? It's like you're you're a battery, you're in the matrix, mm-hmm. you know. Sometimes you know. Well, Nature's good. I'm just saying, like, you know, like they, guy, they, they I, keep us warm. They keep us warm. Yeah, like that guy that wanted to get back in the Matrix. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, not everyone can handle it, but it's like, it's like, do we really want? Tr- it's fine to not want truth, though. It doesn't mean you don't want truth. I'm, I'm more about like, um, what do you call this? Uh, hi- hypocrisies. I'm not into hypocrisies. If you're, if you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. You know, but just be admitting about it. It's like, no, I like to live in the lie. Okay, mm-hmm. there you go. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah. like you want to live in the truth. Okay, here you go. You know, it's only when you go like, it's only when you get like um, the. Uh, well, that's why we get like those people like um, Edward Snowden and stuff like that to tell the truth. Yeah, exactly. No, but but I'm more I'm more upset with like the. But they you know they risk their lives doing it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, it's yeah, not yeah. even in his own country anymore, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But I, it's more like the the millennialish uh, the entitlement where it's like. It's like, oh, we, we should have equality. It's like, do you even know what that really means, though? Like, we can't really have equality. Because if we had equality, then the doctor would be making as much as the plumber or the bathroom cleaner. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's that's communism. And like, communism is bad. All right, then you don't want equality. Or socialism. Social, all right, socialism. Or socialism yeah. isn't bad. Uh, no, it's, uh, like, it's like a mixed economy we want. Like we, we don't want we don't want full on capitalism. We don't no. want full on socialism. Yeah. These are all man made things, so we can learn from what is works and what doesn't work. Yeah, but you have structures in place that are already like telling you how it is, so it's like No no no. Things do change slowly though. Slowly. That's the thing. Slowly. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like before the reason why people it's used to people used to work all of the days. Then unions start fighting and they start yeah, then exactly. we got weekends. Who, the, doesn't, who doesn't like weekends? Yeah, yeah but but that's but what then we'll get more days. You have to educate the youth of today. That's the only way it'll change. Because the, yeah. the older people are already set in their ways. Only the youth are the ones who are able to change the future. Yeah, I know. You know? No, yeah. no, I know. That's why it takes so long. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just again, just progress is always takes long, though. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's not as bad as what we had, like, 100 years ago, man. That's true. So you got to be proud of where we are. And, and <laughs> that's very true. But the laws, too, it's like um, the laws when we enter like ro- enter like robots and stuff that's gonna be nuts yeah so yeah then AI that'll create a whole bunch of different problems and then cause we're, we're adding future. more to it where it's like you have to be really really adaptable but that's what like, comes with progress too right for sure yeah exactly yeah that's, you, you, that's that, progress but, but then alright it circles back to the whole idea of like you need to get with the program yeah because the program's going on with, with or without you yeah yeah exactly yeah. that's true right yeah. All right. So uh, I guess we'll end it there. Any yeah. other final thoughts? Nothing, else man. All no, right, cool. So uh, I guess we'll just jump back on in a bit, uh, play that Dragon Ball. It's out. Yeah. And if there's any Check more information out. on Zuma, I will talk about it or mention it. Yeah. On your uh, next podcast or Twitter? No, on the next so podcast. Well, if there's any updates, I will, I will say. Because this, uh, this is something I'm really interested in. Cool. Yeah. All right. So until next time, stay awesome. I like it. Take it easy. (laughs) Easy. Bye-bye.